we all know, uh, or those of us who use cast iron cookware, know that before cast iron can be used, it should be seasoned. Of course, a lot of companies now that manufacture cast iron go ahead and season them before they're sent out for distribution to be sold. But if you have a cast iron skillet and it hasn't been seasoned, then it should not be used because foods will stick to it and it will rust and uh, eventually the, the pan will be too badly damaged. You can't reclaim it. And cast iron cook, cookware should be passed down for generations because it will last that long if uh, cared for. So, here's the process that we can use to either season or re-season. If your pan gets to the point where it's sticking, or if you see any rust on it at all, then it should be re-seasoned. But I had these two pans that I bought years ago, and they had been in storage. I had not used them because I have lots of cast iron. But we had this set that did look just alike. Two skillets. Can you see that? It's um, it's not a black finished. It's more a gray. And I see a little speck of rust in here. And this is what the back looks like. Well, yesterday I went ahead and seasoned the other pan. The other pan now looks like this. It has a beautiful black finish and it's ready to be cooked in. Let me turn them over and show you the inside. But these pans looked exactly the same until yesterday. So these pans just have a, a beautiful, the one on the right has a beautiful finish and the other one is going to look the same after it's been seasoned. So let me show you what I do to season. First thing to do before you season it, or the first part of that process, is to wash it very well. And if you have any um, rust stains, you can even use steel wool. Now that's the only time you can use steel wool in that time is when it's going to be seasoned or re-seasoned. So you scrub it very well. Okay, so I washed and dried the pan that I'm going to season. And I even took a little uh, Brillo soap pad to that one little spot of rust that I saw inside. See where I've been, I've been working on it there. The light's not too good here. Okay, so then I'm going to pour it into the pan. one to two tablespoons of canola oil. I'm using a store brand of canola oil. But what I always say, use the oil that you have in your kitchen to season and re-season your pots, your cast iron. You don't have to go out and buy something. Now, I wouldn't use an olive oil or coconut oil would not be good to season the real season, but any kind of a vegetable oil, peanut oil, pure vegetable oil would be good. Okay, so I've got a paper towel and I'm wiping every surface of the pan. You don't want to have, have oil standing in it, but you want a good coverage of oil of every surface. Now, turn the um, oven on to 500 degrees. 
and we're going to put the skillet in inverted upside down so that we won't have any oil cooling down in the uh, inside of the pan and I've placed a foil pan underneath the top rack to catch any drips any oil drips and won't mess up the oven but I'm going to like I said turn the pan upside down on the top rack for one hour. That's our alarm that the hour is up and our cast iron skillet should be seasoned, but we're just going to turn the oven off and let it sit overnight. There's no way I want to wrangle with a 500 degree iron skillet, so we'll take a look tomorrow and see if it's seasoned as well as the small skillet is. So I started the seasoning process on my second skillet, the second uh, skillet in the set. So I'm going to check it. It was yesterday and I left it overnight so that it would be nice and cool when I pulled it out. And it looks beautiful front and back and we'll compare it to the first one that I did. And they look exactly the same. So all I used in the processed process was canola oil, which I already had in my kitchen. Thanks for stopping by.